Hand club to the massive brothers and sisters. We are finally back. We finally made it to the second reaction video I've dropped on this YouTube platform. Welcome to another one, brothers and sisters. On this year, Mr. Leaks reaction, guys. The previous one will be in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. So you can definitely check it out right there. And of course, big up all this for definitely being a part of DC Vibrations. Hand clap, brothers and sisters. And don't forget to click the like button as well and subscribe for more vibrations as they tend to come for right there, brothers and sisters. Subscribe. So you'll be notified when I drop my videos as well as helping this channel to grow further and further in that regard. Right there. Without a further ado, uh, let us, brothers and sisters, get into the vibrations for today. For of course, I'm not sure of number of in, uh, individuals would have liked to see what Hurricane Barrel looked like, brothers and sisters. But this is what it looked like right there. I think it's very vital because I myself was wondering, and I figured maybe you guys might be wondering as well what the hurricane pretty much looked like right there just pass above this is actually this is let me see this is dominica on top there so this devastation that you notice happened to dominica is as a result of this thing right there this is the eye that just passed and of course if you go back you can pretty much tell the eye passed over one of the uh grenadine islands brothers and sisters it passed over this is grenada right there this is tobago this is trinidad so based of what we've seen right there the blunt of it pretty much passed north of Grenada, brothers and sisters. Karyoku, Karyoku, yeah, Karyoku area. I said the Grenadines, but Karyoku area. This is the Grenadines as well. So just looking at these brothers and sisters will let you know the kind of devastation that took place. Imagine an eye of a hurricane being bigger than the country itself. You know, bigger than the country itself, brothers and sisters. So you should know a number of persons actually sent me videos of their houses. And so unfortunate, brothers and sisters, that their houses are no more. Yes. People in Grenada who are also in Karyaku, uh, who have houses, uh, they don't they don't live in in, in, in the, that area no more. But the houses that they actually have, the family houses, are pretty much gone. Disappeared, vanished, brothers and sisters, out of the face of the earth. All they have now is land, brothers and sisters. I asked one of the individuals if they're planning to build. I said, not now, no. Because apparently their parents, you know, are no longer alive. And the parents were living in the house. But apparently since they left, you know, the house was just closed down. So um, at least they have the property right there. It hasn't affected them to that degree. But because they're living overseas. But on the basis of, of you know, building a property when you want to go back to, to, you know, take vacation or whatever. You then need to rebuild once again. It's unfortunate that this has happened. But I just had to show this to you guys right there what it looked like because i myself was wondering the kind of conundrum you know that was happening in the southern part of the caribbean brothers and sisters it missed barbados i know a number of persons were talking to me about that it missed barbados this was barbados uh barbados got some serious rainfall thunder wind and what have you brothers and sisters waves like crazy but of course the north of dominica was heavily affected now guys on the basis of this, a number of persons will tell me I need to go up Caribbean. I'm like, well, Emonius pretty much did it already. They say, no, Emonius did a piece of it. We want to see the full thing. So if you guys want me to go to go to do the full thing, go all the way up and whatever you to show you guys what has happened there, I can definitely do so in that regard. You guys will let me know that in the comment box below. Okay, so let me know that in the comment box below if you want me to go up a bit more more up Caribbean uh, and see see what happened there. You guys will let me know that in the comment box below. Anyways, guys, moving along. Right there. We are in the north of Dominica when it comes to this situation, brothers and sisters. And this was actually last night. You know? This was no, the night after Hurricane Maria, I would have to say. Right there. There was some heavy, heavy situations that was going on in the Rosa region. To which this area that you see in was completely covered brothers and sisters with water and sand now guys keep in mind the bay front that we're seeing right there you might say oh my goodness no this can't be happening to us no oh my goodness we might be saying this brothers and sisters but initially the water was all the way here guys the bay front was created for individuals to go there and relax and chill i think it was on the united west party it was created that way the land was backfilled and of course the bay front was created to have a little area where you can actually chill. So the water is pretty much saying, hey, what is this? I need to come back there. Anyways, this is morning guys. This, morning, this is how the different looks. This so as you can see, there's sand and debris on the ground. Morning. The water seems to have um 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 um, um succeed. Um, what is I'm forgetting the word. Subsided. 
<laughs> the water seems to have this gone down with the system. And of course, they're doing some cleanup right there. Now, guys, you notice something. You notice the ghetto tents that Melissa had there? All the ghetto tents may be out in the Atlantic Ocean somewhere. You know, or Beryl take it and go. Sam. It's just unfortunate that if uh, the individuals in question who are who have their, their stuff inside, they did not take out their, their materials inside there. Because, of course, we were told that the hurricane is passing further down south and, you know, might get some wind and rain. So individuals probably were not thinking of moving their stuff. Um, so it will be unfortunate that the, the vendors who are there, if they did not remove their stuff, most likely most of their stuff is in the sea somewhere. In the sea, I can definitely tell you that. The sea sand is in the building, brothers and sisters, and as you can clearly see, this is Bayfront today. They're doing some cleanup, hoping to get things back. Hopefully, they don't put back the ghetto tents there. I would advise Melissa, or you take out the ghetto tents to put more ghetto tents together. Shop it now! This was a place designed for people to come and chill. You might have a little place here and there. You know, nothing wrong with having a little shop here and there for people to go and want to take well this is what the other side of the road for so you can have your stuff there but you know have a little vending you know people just have damn food trucks and what have you there you know a little something of that sort you know but then again where are you gonna put the vendors if that be the case uh, rosa i think needs to be be redone i think rosa needs to be redone you know so that you know you can actually accommodate in that regard but because the way rosa has been designed this was just an area for people to come and chill, relax. We used to go and buy KFC when KFC was real, you know. The KFC they have today, brothers and sisters, you can clearly tell it, it tastes different. That is because it is different, brothers and sisters. I see a set of people lining up to go and buy fake. It's one thing to have KFC, brothers and sisters. But then to buy fake KFC is a hell of a thing right there. And people, don't, people notice the taste change. <laughs> and they're still going back at it. Or is something else we... Or you're really something else. Continue. Continue. When you notice your leg falling out, you will see. Any brothers and sisters. So that is Bayfront this morning. And of course, this is Giro Dale, Regional Brothers and Sisters. Call for help. Love alone. Love alone. Love alone all the time. Love alone. Okay. okay. So apparently some trees must have been ruffled. Not. I don't think this is as a result of burial. Uh, burial. I think this is as a result of serious um, wind and rain that was passing. Of course, it was a tropical wave, I think. There might be another one coming, if I'm not mistaken of that regard. But um, there's some system I was passing over Dominica. Does it even have 10 minutes yet in that recording? So there are people trying to clear the road. So we're getting the road clear, but people, we have to be careful, okay? Yeah, but you have to be careful, we. Big up to the chainsaw man them. got to do it. But not you know, you just filming. Hey, at least thank you for the film. <laughs> Somebody have to do it I for real. I think when the wind blows, something is speaking or something. So yes, guys, this is the Girardel region. Girardel region, I, I believe, is in, in the, uh, the Castle Comfort area, if I'm not mistaken. Of the street to get the guys. Two guys there. Okay, so two individuals are cutting down the trees. Well, not cutting down the trees, but clearing the road. I'm trying to clear the road. Hello, hello. Talk to you guys later. Yes, guys. So kudos to these individuals right there. But with that said, guys, moving along. Now, guys, we are in the south. We came all the way from the north. And we're going to the south of Dominica, brothers and sisters. This is Scott Sedry John. Now, some history on that, brothers and sisters. It seems like the waters have decided to flatten the rocks. So there was some sort of pathway you could pass through and of course there was some sort of thing like this stones and what have you on the side that will prevent the caribbean sea from meeting the atlantic ocean within that region but of course when the winds and waves came brothers and sisters it flattened it and as you can see it is connecting now now you guys might be saying oh, oh what is this oh my goodness not again no oh. well this is actually how it was back in the day brothers and sisters Back in the day, giving you some history lesson, I didn't know that. It was told to me that way. Same thing for, um, what do you call that place again? Um, Cabrits. Same thing for Cabrits, brothers and sisters. Cabrits was also like that. There was a huge swampy region be between um, the Lago region and Cabrits. 
uh, Fort Shirley area, brothers and sisters, and the backfield the area so that people could pass on this thing right there. The same thing goes for this one right there. Water was flowing over this thing usually, but I guess they wanted to connect it, uh, the, the, the Scott said, to Soufrier, and as a result, the backfield. But the rain, the, the, the rain and sea water and what have you decided, who are you human beings? Who on earth do you think you are? There's a song, who do you think you are? Yes, we're living in a small world. That's what the seas were saying to us. So I know a number of us like to take drives from time to time and then go up there, brothers and sisters. It seems like we might be out of commission for a while. Well, the, that tourism, that tourism, no other brothers and sisters where people want to go hunting. The boy. <laughs> seems like it's next tourism season. They, they might have to organize that thing, eh? Yes, man. Because it's going to take a lot of backfilling for that. We talk about yeah, They might take the, 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 the dirt from the airport road and put their brothers and sisters. That stuff is another project. <clears throat> yes, I. But next time, try concrete now, please. Do some concrete stuff there. At least some concrete. Some slabs of rocks. Put some rocks on this side. You know, to, to make it, you know? All right, then. So I just figured I'd point this out to you guys right there. Move it along, brothers and sisters. Of course, the stuff is heading burial. That thing you see in there? Burial? Something like some beer belly picks uncle or something. But burial, brothers and sisters, Mr. Burial or Auntie Burial is heading to Jamaica. Now, I saw a video, before I continue, I saw a video of uh, Dominican Republic. Of course, it's passing along the Dominican Republic side. And so this is it. Right there. Heavy winds and, and we have winds right now. Yes, you don't see the table fly? <laughs> the table can fly there, we Attention, señores, miren, está ahí ya. Está ahí, señores. Está ahí el fenómeno. Está ahí el fenómeno, Felipe. I'm thinking to myself, guys, when I see people doing this thing, I'm thinking to myself, what is wrong with these people? And then I realize I would have probably done the same thing too. I need to get the videos and stuff for you guys to see. Yes, I'll be doing the same thing too. Yes, I, Auntie, well, Auntie have a chance to run her. She did win forcing you to run her. En vivo. En vivo, señores. En vivo de Playa Caleta. Está ahí el fenómeno. En vivo. En vivo, señores, de Playa Caleta. Oh, you saying he's live on the beach. <laughs> en vivo. Para mi gente de Nueva York, en vivo. Ah, he's there. Over there. Miren eso. It seems like he's taking some refuge behind the ice, the ice box. Viva lo. Some people over there. All oh, you special boy. Uncle just taking casual walk. Miren eso ahí. Yes, you can see the, the rain is coming in now. Gasa, go at your home, Gasa. Go at your home. Vamos a la casa. Hey, Mr. Them No Easy. All you saw was some wind. So you saw the, you see the wind and then the wind started coming. Yep, there it is. Está ahí, fenómeno. Mi gente de Nueva York en vivo. Well, you stay in there, we? You don't go in my. That home for you, no? You stay in there. Maybe there is his home. Oh, oh. Oh, the best he, one, Mr. Self. Is it bicycle like this? Mr. Riding bicycle. Oh, he's the he best he there, boy. Yes, man. So anyways, that's Dominican Republic brothers and sisters. But there's something rather interesting that is going on in that regard right there. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica, Met Service, says the eye of the hurricane, Hurricane Beryl, is not as clearly defined as it was previously and so the system could wobble shake jamaica put in some voodoo put in jambi sukuya all right they put in it on the hurricane say barrel come out ya come out ya if you you banny you banny <laughs> i tried to say like the cheek comedian you banny <laughs> 
come here. Come <laughs> here and you'll see. Hey, well, the Jamaican put in some sorcery on the hurricane then. Wobbling, man. Fred to enter Jamaica. I'm more thinking Fred to enter Haiti. I think, I think it's Haiti, Fred. That's why it's wobbling before it reach Jamaica. That is what I think is happening. Haiti can make you dance, you know. Anyways, brothers and sisters. Anyways, the previous lead blah, 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 blah. As it approaches the island, the center of the Category 4 storm, which the Met Service said remains dangerous. Yes, man, brothers and sisters, low pressure is <laughs> with some spinning wind around it. Can be another jump in itself. Is forecast to pass near or over the island's southern coastline from east to west between 12 noon and 8 p.m. today, brothers and sisters. This is what it's going to be looking like. Let me make sure you, you, you see this thing bigger so you can get an understanding of it right there. All right, brothers and sisters, this is um, this is a hurricane. So apparently after it passes Jamaica, why, what is M? Storm. So it's going to be storm there. I forget. I forget what M means, you know, guys. I forget. Anyways, ma oh, major. It's going to be a major hurricane. <laughs> So after it passes Jamaica, brothers and sisters, it's going to become a major one right there and affect the other islands on the Cuba. Of course, then it bypasses Cuba and then becomes a hurricane, so it's going to drop down. So I think it might pass Jamaica. I think it was, when I last saw it, it was too, too, um, the wind speeds, it was too below category 5 for it to be classified uh, uh, 2 miles per hour below a category five brothers and sisters so you know major hurricane passing jamaica passing at my, the eye will pass at the bottom seems like the eye is gonna pass at the bottom but jamaica gonna get the wall you know what the wall is brothers and sisters the wall is in sukuya part oh boy imagine you don't get the eye just like kulibishi i think well kulibishi got the eye but um hurricane maria but there are parts of dominica that, that continuously got the wall they got the wall and it was devastation, just continuous devastation for probably eight hours, brothers and sisters, right there. Because I remember I talking about a hurricane no finishing, man. Yes, man, I remember seeing that right there. But of course, um, as I remember the hurricane not finishing, I remember there was a hurricane over Bahamas and it reached zero miles per hour. So the hurricane literally, not figuratively, you know, but it literally stopped over bahamas brothers and sisters and was therefore number just causing chaos man my god ah but mother nature will do what mother nature wants to do eh? nobody gonna stop mother nature from mother nature in ah, that is the interesting part right there so it's gonna become a, a category five category five 8 a.m thursday and uh 8 p.m is gonna go back i guess to category four maybe go down it's gonna pass over what is that island mexico mexico okay well mexico can get some blues eh? yes man but apparently when it passes over the land it's gonna lose some some from some force and then it's gonna get it become a storm storm and then back on sunday a.m brothers and sisters them people on the other side of mexico well <laughs> no church for them brothers and sisters because it's gonna be a hurricane once again and then when it goes goes over land it's gonna be a storm right there so that is the trajectory of that vibrations right there, guy. As I had to show it to you in that regard. Anyways, there's something else I also saw uh, to point out to you guys right there. And of course, this is Curacao. So this is when Beryl is passing over Curacao. Gives you an idea of what the Category 3 or Category 4 look like over the small island. Um, by the way, this is Kariakou. I hope I, 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 my mind, I think I say Kurasu. Kariakou, brothers and sisters. So you can pretty much tell that people's houses, you know. Uh, guys, I remember this, you know, in Dominica. I remember this. I was staying in one of the, 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 the houses that they used to develop back in the day, brothers and sisters. I was staying in one of them. And I remember watching that house from the veranda. The wall house from the veranda. And one of these things that came and slammed into the house. And it crack the house open, brothers and sisters. Just crack it, black. I remember seeing the black thing just come and boom, crack it, beat it, man. 
Do you keep the hurricane, the hurricane come now, just say thunder, thunder going on there. Eh, eh, all right. Let me make that before like go, brothers and sisters. So this thing it does, but that boom. That one, that one. Look, look, look it, look it, look it, just pass over there. Eh? Look, 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 look. It's traveling, it traveling, brother. Look, look, look it. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, sir. All right then. Remember the video of them fellas trying to save the galvanize? Well, they'll have to share it. Yes, man. That's still not as terrible as what I saw in front of me, brothers and sisters. When I was looking Hurricane Maria in the eye, I was watching it, man. You guys probably saw it on my video as well. You saw the windows pass it and the thing just come. It just come white. Just white alone you seen. What? <laughs> boy, and you just say, boy, hey, song effects. Pieces of the roof are flying away. You can't quite see it through the, the rain. That house is being obliterated. Yeah, well, you all gone, eh? You all gone. That roof gone. Hmm. One thing, them three strong, eh? Them three strong. We need to learn something from them trees by. Well, not all of them, some of them go. But we need to learn something from those that still stand here. Look how outside me. Boy, galvanizers eat that. Black out. Guys, that's like a tornado, you know. You know that, right? Just a bigger version of a tornado, you know, that heating. Because if you notice all these natural disasters, they come circling. The tornadoes come circling, the typhoons come circling, hurricanes come circling, just name it. Or you think it's just a bigger version of a tornado, eh? <laughs> it seems like every year, Mother Nature wants to clean up itself because of what humans have done to it. Well, more or less, that stuff is debatable. So I just figured I'd show you guys, just in case if you've never seen it before. Well, there you go. In that regard, right there. So, there we have it, brothers and sisters. This is pretty much all I ask for this year, reaction vibrations. What are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get the latest vibrations as they tend to come through. More vibrations will drop, brothers and sisters. Like I also indicated before, if you guys want me to do cabrits, let me know that in the comment box below. Don't forget. To click the like button on this year video I would appreciate that and of course subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get it you can get the latest vibrations as it in the country also actually dropped um the 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 white sands in st kids um music festival brothers and sisters i'll also post that in the description below so you guys not description in the first comment in the comment box below guys so you guys uh first comment in the comment box below so you guys can definitely get that vibrations or check it out right there meeting dominicans overseas man and just having fun freeing up giving thanks and what have you brothers and sisters that's always a good vibe right there anyways check it out the links will be in the first comment in the comment box below guys and of course with that said right there i'll see you guys in the next reaction video remember guys be real salute the king be positive